take a minute to think about short versus long-term goals. So much of the time I've noticed that artists are so focused on just getting by in the short term that they make decisions that come at the expense of what they need to do long term. And nowhere is this more pronounced than the decisions we make about income, because you got to live. So what happens to so many artists is they take any gig they can get, right? I know it only pays $70 and I have to drive an hour and a half to get there. I know whatever, but I'm going to do anything I can to get there. And the problem with this work oftentimes is not only that it doesn't pay well, but it's often not very gratifying work. It is true that there is low paying, incredibly fulfilling work, but a lot of it is low pay, low inspiration. And so what happens is not only are you only making a little bit at a time, but it's sucking the life out of you so that when you get home, you're so exhausted, it's very difficult to do anything else. In fact, it's almost impossible to think about that large term project that you might want to do. One of the things, I was talking with a, a table yesterday, and um, you know, in the summer, this is a time where you gotta make some money in the summer, and I had some people there that actually, just to get by, they took full-time jobs that paid close to minimum wage, in some cases. They're working in a restaurant, or they're working in a grocery store, or something like that. So we did the math. They're working for 12 weeks, they're working 40 hours per week, and they're making minimum wage. They're making seven fifty an hour. They're making $8 an hour, which means for the full summer in this particular model, we figured out this person made, before taxes, they made $3,600. And for that $3,600, it took all of the life energy or almost all the life energy that they possibly had. So I said, well, what would you think? And, and we multiplied it and it required 480 hours of their time, right? I think, this, I think the math is right. So we multiplied the number of weeks, 12 weeks, times the number of hours per week, 40 hours per week, 480 hours. So I asked, what if you set up your goal and you decided that you wanted to earn more than $3,600 in less than 480 hours, doing something that would, ap that would actually advance your career, that you would have something to show for it? What would that look like and would it be possible to design? So he said, let's say you want to, let's say you'd like to generate in this model, $5,000. And the numbers are not really important. I mean, you could have any scale. We could look at 10,000, 15,000, 50,000, whatever it is. But in this model, for this particular person who is working for minimum wage, I said, what if you want to make $5,000? Since that's a round number, let's use that. So what would it take? Well, let's say you want to be a performer. So you could do gigs. You could do gigs for $100. So how many gigs would you have to do for $100? And we kind of did the math. Well, that's 50 gigs. That's kind of a lot of gigs. You have to market those gigs or you have to set up the gigs. That's kind of uh, a lot to do. What if you did it? What if you did for $200 a gig? Well, then you'd only need 25 of those. Uh, so you could spend more time setting up those gigs. Are there gigs that pay $200? And they say, yeah, there is. What if you made $500 per gig? Then you'd only have to do 10 of them. What would happen? And we kept going up the scale. What if you just did one concert in the whole summer, but it generated $5,000? Is it possible to design an event that generates $5,000? Well, absolutely. Now, it will take some time because you've got to market it. You've got to design the art. You've got to practice the art. You've got to find the space, put it up there, and, and, and prove the value to your audience so that you get there. But could you do that in less than 480 hours? Probably, right? So it is very important to consider the projects that you take. And when you have an option between this short-term project and this long-term project, even though you might not see, in this case, the cash or whatever it is right away, I encourage artists to take the long view for things. What happens so much of the time is, you know, we take a day job and we just keep working on that. And I'm only gonna do this for six months, only for one year, really. I'm only, it's three years, it's my five year anniversary, I'm gonna break up with it. I just turned 30, I turned 35, about to be 50 or what, and then you're too old to do anything else. So it's really, and it, I think it's never too late until, it's, until you stop, right? Wherever you are, but especially if you're younger, it's essential that you make wise and savvy long-term solutions as opposed to having a life that's driven by kind of Im impulsive short-term thinking where you kind of stagnate.